Hello everybody, yes sir, Nick back with another episode of Pixelmon! How you doing? I'm doing good. Eh, it's been a little while, maybe about a week or so since my last recording. Um, yeah, a lot's happened since then. So, let's take you on a tour. One of the things that I mentioned in the last episode was I added Tinker's Construct to the mod pack. In addition, I've added a few other things, so I added storage drawers as well as vein miner. So those have resulted in some really cool things. And before I get too far into things, hey, every so often I get some nice comments. I wanted to share one that's kind of near and dear to my heart. So one of my first subscribers. Nasir Ogunder, hopefully I'm saying your name right, um, actually commented to me and reminded me, hey, like he was like my 12th subscriber. It was way back when. Right now I'm sitting at a nice number of about 80. But hey, nothing wrong with that. So Nasir, man, I appreciate you hanging out with me. And the fact that you're still a subscriber, you're still watching my videos, that's awesome. Thank you very much. It's folks like you that help encourage me to continue doing this so yeah all right hey if you want to be like nasir and have me shout you out in one of my recordings leave a comment down below let them know i'm more than willing to do it i like any positive good comments and i no problem giving those shout outs all right so let's take a look at what's happened new in the house that's new we'll have to look underground to see what happened there i expanded my deck to be in the back when I go inside here, come out the other side, I now have stairs going down. I didn't quite finish my stair steps down, so I'll have to finish those. Ooh, and then under my deck, I have a hidden path. Not really hidden, but it's kind of like the door to my cellar. Welcome to my cellar. So I got rid of most of my chests and actually put in storage drawers, so now I have a really cool visual of where I have everything. Now, no, it's not organized by any type or any special means or anything like that. It was just whatever was in my hot bar got put in whatever drawer came up there. So uh, I'll be working on some upgrades for the storage drawers. I locked all of them. So even if I take the last one out, it will still keep a space for it. I put in some storage drawers, drawer controllers. So when I come to it, all I have to do is double uh, left click and boom, everything that's on this wall will go in there. If I double right click again, everything that was on this wall. And if I double right click again, everything that was on that wall. Then whatever I have left, that's what I've got left. All right, so actually we have some things to go into the furnace. Let's jump upstairs. So upstairs kind of stayed the same. Nothing really massive changed there. Go back doop, downstairs. Now. In the corner here, underground, I dug out a little cave system. So here's all of my tinkers, uh, part builders, and stencil tables, and tool forge, and chests, and all that. Um, I have my uh, anvil over here, but this is my smeltery. So it's not a massive smeltery by any means. It's your standard 3x3, three three, and then you have your outside um I have my controller there. Let's throw our iron in there. I've been cooking up a lot of iron lately because that's mainly what I get. Yeah, so this is my nice little small smeltery. It's pretty cool. So that's one of the big things that I've worked on since we were away. In addition, I've done some evolutions. So I hatched a whole bunch of my EV eggs, as we've seen before. Well, I now have a Glaceon. I had my leafy on, and I have an Umbreon. So, so far, things are going pretty well with my evolutions for my Eevees. I need to get a few more stones to kind of what I have to evolve them. But, yeah. Oh, and I got a couple Bulbasaur. So, I got a male and a female Bulbasaur. Um, from, I had a couple of leaf Pokemon, or, yeah, grass-type Pokemon that were mating. So, I had Venusaur, and I had um, Quilladin. So they were, they did some mating, so it was kind of cool, they got it on, so did Weeping Bell. Yeah, just to see what could happen, you know. 
Now, for right now, I have gotten, I've moved away from what I had here as my breeding area, so that way I could expand the house a little bit. I'm thinking what I might do is I might do a little bit of terraforming over here, get rid of a lot of this extra space, and turn this into my breeding area and have a few different spots for breeding, so that way I can breed a few different types of Pokemon. Um, but those will be things that we'll work at later in life. One of the things I need to do now, though, is I need to get into the Nether. And the reason why I need to do that is because with my Tinker's tools, I, I was able to get the iron level of things. So I have a nice iron pickaxe. It's pretty cool. It has uh, haste on it, and it has emerald and diamond to give it more durability. And I have an iron hammer. But I want to upgrade those, so I need to get into the nether so that way I can get cobalt, cobalt and... Uh, um, Oh, I think it's Ardite, and then also I can make Manulin. That not that I necessarily need Manulin here though, because it's I'm not really fighting mobs, um, so I just need to f really focus on my tools. But I'm gonna eventually upgrade and get uh, my shovel there. Uh, I don't know about the hoe, but shovel and axe I'll definitely get from my Tinker's tools. But I need to get into the Nether to to do that. So, let's go back downstairs. I did a whole bunch of vein mining with obsidian, so hopefully I can find it. Yeah, there we go. Alright, so I have 35 obsidian. Uh, actually, let, we don't need that much, so we'll take that with us. And I need to get my flint and steel. And let's take... Oh, don't burn the place down, Nick. Um, let's take our shulker boxes. So I got two more shulker boxes. They're empty for now. But I did kind of rearrange them a little bit. So this is my tools. Oh, yeah. I ended up getting an Elytra from a boss Pokemon. So that was pretty cool. Got a few more rare candies. I have my badge case. Here's my badges. I also got another badge. Um, funny story. I got it by accident. So I took another trip into that uh, Ultra Dimension. And I just happened to be digging down. And I... I saw uh, I thought I was going towards like a Pokemon Center and I fell down a hole and apparently I fell into the top of a gym and I happened to have my Charizard so I threw Charizard out and I defeated the gym leader by accident but I, I'll take it so I got an ice badge with that so that's pretty cool all right so let's put that back um, I'm not gonna necessarily need all these tools but oh well we will hold on to them for now then I have my Pokeballs, nothing new there. Um, this is for some of my held items as well as uh, some of my battle uh, items. I don't use them a lot. And then this is where I have all my Z crystals as well as all of my um, uh, Mega Evolution. Uh, I guess I'd call them crystals. I don't know. So take that with us and that. Oh, come on. All right, I'm going to be mad if I lost those. Hold on. I might have to, to log and log back, so I'll be right back. And I'm back. Okay, cool. Um, Yeah, I don't know. It just kind of lagged and didn't necessarily appear in my inventory, so that wasn't good. All right, so we got that. Ooh, and you know what? I'm going to pause here for a second again. I want to roll a little bit of footage. So I got uh, the EV evolutions that I've gotten so far. I got those on camera, so hey. Sit right back, watch that, and I'll be right back. All right, I hope you enjoyed. All right, let's get to going to the nether. I think I'm going to put my nether portal. I don't know. Where do I want to put my nether portal? I have a couple different options. I mean, I could put it down here. Or I could keep it up here somewhere. I mean, it'd be kind of cool if I like put it right here. But then I'm going to have to listen to it. Hmm. Decisions, decisions, you know? 
Uh, I could put it like right here. Hmm. Oh, I should have thought about that before I got started. Oops, my bad. Yeah. Eh. Let's put it on this side. So I'm going to build it into here. Okay, I'll go one more up. Yeah, I've definitely been doing a lot more terraforming lately. So I need one, two, three. And then go there, there. Right, because then if I put it here, there, yeah, here we go. This will do it for us. Cool. All right, here we go. Jumping into the nether. One, two. I'm scared. Oh, well, there's no time like the present. Uh, come on, man. Nobody lives forever. Ooh, I made the advancement. We need to go deeper. Uh, scares me in here. Ooh, there's some ghastlies that are, like, burning down there. That's not good for them. Okay. Uh, what is this? I got... Pile of ashes. Interesting. Ooh, glowstone. Glowstone's good. All right, you know what I need to do first? First, I need to waypoint this place. So let's go waypoint. Let's go nether portal. And let's make it orange because it's the nether and it's scary. Cool. All right, so we got that. And... What I could do is I could take... I have a few different options. Uh, option number one is to vein mine this gravel. And then... Alright, so I made an iron hammer. This thing's pretty cool. I love this thing. I love it because I can do three by three blocks. There we go. So now I've already gotten... Ooh. Let's see if I can. Or do I need to make... I need to make obsidian. Okay. Well, darn. I mean, not totally unheard of. It was worth a shot, because this mining level obsidian, I think I need mining level cobalt. So let's go back. That's okay, guys. We've got another portal set up. I didn't die, so that was good. Now we just go back downstairs, and we do a little bit more work with our um, smeltery. All right, so let's put in three nether bricks. Or not nether bricks, obsidian. That's going to take forever to cook. Um, all right, so I have that. So let's let that go. Hmm. But yeah, that's some interesting stuff in there. Let's put that away. Put that away. So now it's one of the things that's kind of become my custom is every time I come back from somewhere, I just go in and I hit those three controllers. Now, do I want to put all of my berries in here? Yes, yes I do. So I will have to go get berries. But I'm not going to worry about it right now because I'm waiting on my obsidian to smelt. It's funny, I have like some blood. I can just get rid of that here, I think. I think... So one of the cool things with the the blood is it it can it acts basically as a slime ball. You just don't want to eat it because it'll poison you. Which I mean, you don't want to eat blood. You're not a vampire, right? All right, so let's go back up here. Nope, it's in one of these. At least I thought I had one. There we go. Yeah, there it is down there. Cool. All right, so now we have obsidian. Let's put that back in. So I'll make an obsidian pickaxe head. That should give me the, the right mining level. Um, we'll see. Alright, so now we're going to bring it back over here. 
Throw that in there. Throw that in there. Yep, mining level cobalt. Cool. And ugh, kills my durability. Actually, no, I came at 918 there and 821. Yeah, a little bit. Mining speed 868. Eh, I'll take it. Whatever. It works. All right, back to the nether we go. Do, 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 do. Okay, here we go. Now, there we go. Now I got some cobalt. Nice thing with cobalt is it mines quickly. Um, what's up, dude? Oop, and I need nether quartz. Um, right now I've been ex or specifically giving, getting nether quartz from uh, a Pokemon, I think, like Drifloon or something like that. But I need more. Oh, yeah, vein mine. Duh. <laughs> cool. All right. Now the question becomes, do I want to fly down? Yeah, let's fly down because there's some more cobalt across the way. So we'll just fly over here. There we go. Pick up this cobalt. Cool. And pick up this one. Wow, there's Diglett in hell. Cool. What's up, Diglett? Just don't push me in the lava. It's the one thing that scares me about being over here. And there's a ghastly. I'm pretty sure I have a ghastly, so. I was going to say, is it like a dark shuckle? But it's not. It's a Ragnarola. All right, ow. Oh, no, Muffus. Okay. Oh, there's some Ardite right there, too. Don't mind the fado. Okay. So I get a little bit of manulin, but I don't, I don't... Probably won't throw that in the smelter just yet. That's a nice little adventure. Okay, so now we go back downstairs. Yeah, guys, this has been my life for a while. Um, just running up and down stairs and doing all that fun stuff. All right, let's throw all the cobalt in there. That shouldn't make anything massive with what's in there, I hope. Let's make some iron blocks. Come on. One thing that would be nice, so like, um, there's a mod called Wayla. What am I looking at? And I just, I can't seem to get it to where it actually like shows me the items that I'm looking or like, you know, like what I have my cursor pointing at. And I don't know if it's something I've done or not done with the mod packs. I'll have to research that a little bit more because that is a little bit frustrating. Because there's a lot of interesting things that are a lot of cool things that you come across. Okay, that's still going. All right. Sweet. Okay, so I know I want a take you back. Let's get you. So we're gonna go you and you. Now, did they use all my cobalt? No. Okay, good. Come on. You can do it. I believe in you. So, so that's where, like, Wayla would show me where we're at in terms of the, uh... There we go. Mining speed. And get kick-ass durability. Sweet. Okay. 
and get some better-ish mining speed, right? Because you were at 2.6. All right, I'll take it. Ooh, wild tracheon has appeared. Dude, what are you doing in here, Wismer? Um, who do I want to send out? Let's send out Kadabra. So I brought Kadabra back in to the party, trying to get him upgraded. Um, yeah, of course I want your gunpowder. All right, real quick. So I have this key, right? So this will unlock it, unlock it. Um, I want to... What do I want to take out of here? Let's take that. Oh, that was locked. That's right. There we go. And then put you there. Lock you back up. Lock you back up. You lock it up. No, you lock it up. All right. There we go. Cool. All right, so put that back there. Uh, keep the aerodite on me for now. Okay. So that's pretty cool. So the next project I want to work on is um, I want to create a cloning machine. So last episode, I spent a ton of time wandering around a savanna looking for a ditto. Now, I did a little research, and I was looking at the um, the wiki page, and it looks like ditto now only appears when the cloning of like Mew doesn't go right. I don't know how accurate that is, and if the uh, if the wiki is wrong, because I've I've watched some YouTubers playing Pixelmon Reforged, and it's similar time frame and they've been able to find dittos but i was there even after we recorded for like an hour or so and i still didn't find a ditto so yeah so we're gonna work on the um the cloning stuff to find the cloning let's see so i need to make a fault or I need to make like stuff with a fossil chamber yeah, so I need to make a fossil machine. And it's a whole bunch of different parts. So I need aluminum plates and redstone. I think I have those. Um, and if not, I know I have aluminum. So I think you're my aluminum. Yeah, okay. So you're aluminum. Let's get a hammer. All right, let's come over here. And then all I do is I just put it there. And you get to watch me do this for a while. I don't have enough diamonds, otherwise I would do a diamond hammer. But, yeah, not so much. I swear I had more aluminum plates. So let's finish this one and let's go look because um, this is going to take forever. Um, are you my mother? No. There's one way to find out. Okay, so it's on this side. Ah, there we go. I only have seven. Ugh. Then I needed a redstone, it said. Okay. So let's go a fossil machine top, one of those. Cool. Then we need a fossil machine tank. So I need water buckets and glass panes. I'm pretty sure I have glass panes. I need six of those. Um, one, two, three, four, five. Ooh. Okay. I don't think that will be enough. Sand, where are you at? Good grief, I am out of all of these things. Okay, well, let's go get some sand, and then we will be right back. So I'm going to get some sand. All 
Alrighty, and I'm back. Alright, so we got plenty of glass now. So let's put that there. Um, put this back in there. There we go. Okay. So we got that. Oop, not that. Come on. And that. Okay, so we got that. Grab our buckets back. All right, so I have that. I have that fossil machine base. I need more aluminum plates. Ooh. Well, I think yeah, I don't have any of those. Okay, so I'm gonna have to grind that out. You know what? Let's see how many. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. I think that's enough. Yeah, okay, make a diamond hammer. Sweet. All right, so let's take... Oop, we got to get our aluminum back. So I need four more. And put you there. Yeah, that's much quicker. Okay. Now, this cloning machine has several different parts. Ooh, oh, crud. You know what? I need two of each of these, I think. Yeah, because it's a multi, it's multi-block structure, and in it, I think two of the blocks require um, all of this stuff. So, uh, let's see. Oh, we're gonna have that, and then what does this require? Ah, redstone and one obsidian. So I can get the obsidian right there. There we go. And the redstone, one, two, three, four. Sweet. Okay, so make that. And then I have that. All right. Now I have to be careful. I know with some of these, um, you can't break them and then put them back. Like or if you break them, once you place them, they don't work right. So yeah. All right, so I'm going to do a little bit of research off camera, and then in the next episode, we're going to finish working up off our, or working, uh, getting our cloning machine, if I could talk today. So, hey, if you liked today's episode where we went to the nether and we started building uh, at least our fossil machine, um, leave our thumbs up rating, you know? And if you have any comments down below, feel free to leave them. Let me know how I can improve the series. Or if you'd like a shout out like Nasir did, just let me know. I don't mind. All right, you guys have a good day, good night, whichever. I appreciate you hanging out with me. You take care. Bye-bye.